Hey everyone, this is Zara, and I'm back to film a plan with me. This is going to be for the week of March 9th through the 15th, um, and I'm using a kit from The Littlest Planner. This one is a, like, Where the Wild Things theme kit, um, and I thought it was just cute because this was the actual week of my nephew's birthday. Um, I know the week before this, we had had his birthday party and, you know, had gone to see him and everything. Um, but I thought it'd just be kind of fun to use a kit that was somewhat themed towards him. Um, his name is Max. And so I believe the character from, you know, the child in Where the Wild Things Are is called Max as well. And so I just thought this would just be a really cute kit, um, you know, for this week. Um, I also, after laying everything down, it made me laugh because the quote box says, let the wild rumpus start. And this was the week where just everything started to get really crazy at work. Um, if you don't already know, I'm a pharmacist. And so um, it was just, you know, things have been selling out, um, you know, in terms of like our masks sold out, I don't know, two weeks before this week. Um, you know, and um, people were starting to kind of stock up on supplies more. And so, you know, masks, gloves, um, things like that, you know, were already sold out. But then this was the week that I think everyone, um, everything started getting a little bit more, um, serious and in terms of like the state regulations. So I think on Friday, all of our schools, um, you know, announced that they were going to be closing. And so, um, you know, the first half of the week up until Wednesday was just kind of business as usual. Um, but then the second half of the week was just craziness. And then we also had one of our pharmacists was on vacation this week. And so um, we were like short staffed to, um, you know, in addition to everything else. So I thought that the quote box was actually really fitting for the week, um, even though it wasn't originally why I used the kit. Um, I just thought it was kind of kind of funny. So, um, and one thing I really love about this kit is the color scheme. Like, I don't think I've ever used a kit that has these colors together. Um, like the kind of mustard yellow and then this like really rich green, um, and then like pinks and blues. And so it was just a really fun, you know, kit to use. And I got to pull in some icons that I, you know, don't typically get the chance to use just because they're kind of more uniquely colored. Um, and so all in all, I just, I really enjoyed, um, how this week turned out and how everything looked. This is, I forgot to mention her like full kit format. And so, um, you can get it as a mini kit and it's just without one of the pages or you can get the four pages, which is considered the full kit for her hand-drawn kits. Cause this is, you know, original artwork. So anyways, oh, and I do have a coupon code for the Lilith's planner down below. Okay, so now moving on to Monday. Monday, I had was still at my sister's house, and so I got to take my nephew to school. And so I used a backpack from Bubba Bear Studios to mark that down, um, you know, that I just got to take him to school. And we, um, it was funny because it's like I took him to school, and then he's just like, all of a sudden just disappears inside the classroom and I was like what I don't even get a goodbye and so then I had to like go back in there and you know he was like oh okay and gave me a quick hug and then ran back in this classroom but um and then that was you know like probably the last time I'll get to take him to school you know for a while because I'm not going to be visiting for a while and then also that their schools are closed potentially you know or likely um for the rest of the year so anyway, so then I just put in a little to-do list and I liked the to-do list this week. They were, you know, these kind of like leafy, um, checklists, I guess. Um, and so I just kind of marked down that I was driving home and I was listening to like my podcast and my audiobooks and things like that. And then that car sticker is from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And um, then I went to the library because I had to return... Um, I think it was like a, a movie that I had rented. Um, and so that book stack is from Nicole Hutch Designs. Um, then this was the date that um, we emailed our venue and just asked um, if they could reserve a date for us. Um, and so 
Um, I put down this set a date sticker from Once More With Love um, just to mark down that this was, you know, kind of when we finally decided what date we, we wanted um, and then we put a like a hold on the date and then we had a couple of days or, you know, a week to think it over um, and then we actually, you know, did um, end up, you know, picking that date in the end. So anyway, so then um, I marked work every day this week with a flag sticker and then a pill icon from Planner-esque. I do have a coupon for Planner-esque as well. Um, and then after work this day, we went out. Um, I was really craving fried rice. And so we went out to a Japanese restaurant in town. And then that um, Once More With Love sushi sticker um, is from Once More With Love. That makes sense. <laughs> the Once More With Love sushi stickers from Once More With Love. Oh gosh. Um, so then on to Tuesday. This was at my nephew's actual birthday. And so I wanted to use the full box that had Max in it. Um, just because I thought that was fitting. Um, and then I put down a munchkin, like a birthday celebrating munchkin, to mark down that he turned six. Um, which is way too old. Um, <laughs> I feel like it was just yesterday that he was born um, and then it's like looking at pictures and like oh my gosh that feels like so long ago but not that long at the same time um so I marked down work again um and then I made like a pork tenderloin this day and so um I put down a once more with love um like cooking icon to mark that down um and then I also uh had to watch Big Little Lies I had rented it from the library and then like hadn't watched it hadn't watched it hadn't watched it so I was like okay today I'm going to finish it off um I think I had I had started it but I hadn't finished it um and that tv sticker is from Bubba Bear Bubba yeah Bubba Bear Studios Bubba, Bubba Bear Studios um and so um then I just had like a little bit of awkward room and I didn't really I was gonna try to move things around with the half box but it just wasn't coming up right and so um, I ended up using a checklist sideways almost as just a divider and I really like how that turned out it just kind of added a little bit more green to the area and then since it was kind of just like a leafy looking um you know checklist I thought it you know it really it didn't look out of place you know like I just have like a heart checklist on its side or whatever um since it was kind of a non-traditional checklist um so I really like how that turned out and then at the end of the night, um, we just did a couple of things. I had to um, book my, we booked tickets to go see a play, which is now canceled. Um, and then I had to set an alarm for the next day. So on the 11th, this was the day that we could book our fast passes for our Disney trip. Um, again, not sure if that's going to happen or not. Um, but I used a Hey Hey sticker from Once More With Love to mark it down. Um, and it was really weird because my sister texted me at like four in the morning and I didn't see it until I woke up. Um, and she had said, um, she was like, it's letting me get in there even though it wasn't supposed to happen until um, 7 a.m. And so it was just kind of weird. So it's like basically she had everything booked by the time I actually got up. And then I just kind of looked through it and changed a couple of things. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure why it opened up early for us, um, but she just like happened to be up or had some like insomnia. And so she was just looking and then she was like, oh my God, I'm able to book everything. So um, that was just kind of interesting. Um, then I marked work again and then I had to go to the library again to return um, Big Little Lies. And so that book sticker is from uh, Paper Bow Prints. Then we went to the gym after work. Um, and so I used this shoe sticker from Exo Mama Plans um, in the middle of the, the full box, and I really like how that turned out. Um, I liked those full boxes that had the little extra room to write. Um, and then um, that night, I went to a drug dinner, so basically, like, um, you know, a drug company tells you, you know, presents a presentation about their product, um, and then they give you dinner and stuff. Um, and so I had this little don't forget um, munchkin. Um, that has like a little pill and I think it's supposed to be for don't forget to take your medicine but I used it for don't forget about this like drug dinner um but so that was really interesting I met like a lot of interesting like it's a good um, kind of networking event too I was the only pharmacist there but um I got to kind of talk with some other doctors and um some surgeons and things like that um, and then I used the coffee cup from the kit just to mark down that I brought my fiance the leftovers from my meal. Um, 
because um, it was at a supper club, and so you always get, like, a ton of food. Um, and then at the end of the night, we just played Stardew Valley, and so I used the computer icon from Piper Paper Company to mark that down. So then on to Thursday. Thursday, I had the day off, and so first of all, I wanted to work on my taxes because um, I was really hoping that I'd get, like, a nice little tax return um, to you know, put towards our wedding. Um, that didn't really happen. Um, and so I ended up having to pay, um, which was a bummer, but I'm like, well, it is what it is. So I just used this kind of like tantrum munchkin. I'm not really sure what sheet that was from. Um, just to kind of work down that it didn't go as planned, but it's like, what can you do? Um, so anyways, so then I watched Love is Blind. My sister and I had started it on like over the weekend and I think I finished it this day um I'm pretty sure I finished it this day if not I finished it on Friday um I was obsessed um it's just you know it's one of those things it's like this is not good tv necessarily but it's just I can't stop watching it and I really want to know what happens um and that tv icon is from I think that's from the hummingbird planner and then while I was watching love is blind I was working on um like editing and uploading videos and so that uh, video kind of film clapper icon is from 472 in Maine um, and then I just did my nails um, so that nail polish sticker is from I think that's from Hummingbird Planner too but don't quote me on that um, I'm not actually sure because I have a lot of nail icons that look the same um, so then um, we ran some errands, so we went and got some groceries, we went to the bakery, um, and then we went out for lunch at this place called The Wicked Whisk. Um, and so I used these kind of like baking icons from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark that down. Um, and then when I got home, I wanted to clean the house, um, so I used a cleaning munchkin from Once More With Love. And then we played more Stardew Valley at the end of the night, and so I used a computer icon from uh, Paper Bow Prints. So then on to Friday. Friday um, was another no meat day um, since we're in Lent. And so I just used, um, I really liked how that turned out with the little flag box because I didn't really have an icon to mark it with. And so I thought that kind of jazzed it up without having to need an icon with it. Um, and then I did some reading. I filmed. And so the uh, reading icon is from uh, the Littlest Planner, and then the camera icon is from Paper Bow Prints. Um, and then I went to Kohl's. I was going to go on Thursday, but then of course all the coupons started on Friday. And so one thing I've been trying to do is uh, put up frames around our house and pictures and stuff. So I bought a ton of frames. So I used this munchkin that was like spending tons of money. Um, and then I had forgotten to bring my reusable bags so I was like oh no like do I go home do I buy like a tote bag from you know the purse department um do I just get a plastic bag and add it to my total because I gave up plastic bags for Lent um and then I ended up buying some laundry baskets and I was able to fit everything I bought into the laundry baskets and they were heavy to carry out but I was like yes I didn't have any bags I didn't you know have to use a reusable bag so I put down no bag win um and just used a really happy munchkin to mark that down um then um I got called into work early um apparently like on Thursday it was just crazy insane and I don't know why they didn't call me into work that day because I mean I could have come in I just I wouldn't have wanted to come in on my day off but um you know I could have come in um but they didn't call me in on Thursday, but then on Friday they called me in like an hour early and just asked if I was, if I could come in. So I was like, that's fine. So I used a little red, a little red prints, um, like alarm clock icon. Um, then I marked work the same way I've been mark marking it. And then I marked down that it was just an insane uh, day with like just a kind of stressed out munchkin. Um, it was, we were short a couple of technicians because someone's um, kid was sick. Um, we were short a pharmacist because normally we'd have three pharmacists on Friday. So it was just like a really crazy, really insane, just nonstop day. So then on to Saturday, I put down that I finally finished my book. Um, I had been reading a book, um, How to Date Men When You Hate Men, um, for my book club. And I just hated it. I, I don't know. I like the idea of the book was really interesting, but I just, I did not like her writing style. 
I just, yeah, I just didn't like the book. And it was just a struggle to make it through. But I finally finished it this day. I forced myself to finish it so that I could just never have to read it again. Um, so I used a munchkin to mark that down. And then I was trying to figure out the spacing for everything. And I end up removing that laundry sticker. Um, but I'll just kind of tell you how it all ends up. Um, so I, we w since Friday was so crazy... Um, and I didn't really, since I had left work or left home early and everything, um, I wasn't, uh, or left for work early. Like I wasn't really prepared, um, you know, in terms of like my dogs and stuff. Um, like I have one dog and then we were babysitting another dog. And so, um, we had two dogs at the house and like, yeah, basically I was like, I can't stay work, stay late at work. Um, and leave them alone for, for longer than I already have. Um, so then on Saturday, I ended up going into work early with the intention that I wouldn't have to stay late, but I ended up working early and late on Saturday. Um, but thankfully my fiance was home, um, before I got home. So it didn't matter that I stayed late, um, you know, in terms of taking care of the dogs. Um, so I marked like working early and late with a nope munchkin. Um, and then I put in work, um, and then I also mailed the check for our venue um, at this day. And so I put down a book venue sticker from Once More With Love just to mark kind of like officially like putting pen to paper and booking our venue. Um, then I had to go to the library and return um, my book because I had gotten it from the library. And I was like, I'm good just returning this book. I don't need it in my in my house anymore. Um, and then I marked, because it was, um, Pi Day, I, we, my fiance, he had gotten me, um, pie. He'd gone to, like, a local restaurant in town. He bought us two ginormous pies. I was like, oh my god, I was, I was thinking, you know, maybe, like, one slice of pie or two slices of pie. No, he bought us, like, two giant pies. And then, um, and they're, like, homemade and delicious. And amazing. And then I had also said that I was really craving a shamrock shake, but I was like, well, no, just get the pies. Well, he ended up getting both. And I was like, I ended up crying because I was like, this was just the sweetest gesture. And I had such a stressful day at work. Um, so I was like, immediately burst into tears when he gave me the shamrock shake and the pie. Um, but I used a pie munchkin from Once More With Love to mark down um, like our little treats. So then moving on to Sunday, Sunday, I just had like a little to-do list with um, some things that we did. Um, and then again, I had to work early and late um, because we were still trying to catch up from like Thursday and Friday. It was so busy that it was just, we just couldn't get everything done. And so I used kind of like a I see you munchkin, like with the fingers pointing to the eyes, because I was like, I'm gonna get everything done. I'm gonna get, you know, it's gonna get done. So, and we did, we got pretty much caught up on this day, um, despite having to stay late, but, um, got pretty much caught up. So then Monday wouldn't be, you know, hopefully insane as well. Um, so then, um, mark down work again. Um, and then this day we went to the grocery store. Cause like I said, things were starting to, you know, get a little bit more, um, restricted or, you, you know, um, I don't want to say, well, it's kind of serious, but, um, so we just wanted to do like a grocery run to, um, kind of stock up on some things. And this was like, our grocery store was, you know, fairly empty, um, you know, in terms of how it normally is. Um, so that was just quite interesting to see. Um, and then we did, uh, I used a grocery shopping sticker from Happy Daya, and then afterwards uh, we watched The Rookie, um, which is kind of like a show that my fiance and I watched together. Um, and so I used it like cuddling munchkins on the couch from Once More With Love. So anyways, that was my week. Like I said, it was kind of crazy, especially the second half of the week. Um, and the craziness continues into the next week's plan with me, as you'll see whenever I get around to posting that. Um, but now, like when I'm filming this, it's getting a little bit better. So anyways, have a great day.